Hello everyone, we're all good. Big shout out to KR Couriers and Transport Limited and a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Not podcast with myself, Billy Moore. I'm on the way to Kirby and I've got my little tour guide here, uh, Terry. You might have seen him on the podcast before. Nickname, Columbo. Judah Columbo. <laughs> oh, Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin, <laughs> Columbo, Judah. <laughs> How's it that, Billy? <laughs> I won't let it not. Hello. Right, so we're just going past Cannibal Farm. Yeah, it's Council Farm, but it's not, it used to be called Cannibal Farm back in the day. And the heights have never changed. It's still there, aren't they? Since the 80s. They haven't done nothing other than just the same white. So you are you you were born and bred in Kirby, weren't you? Yeah, I so used let, to come here, though, a few times. Let's get up there and show these about, eh? Yeah, let's see what's Kirby's about. Let's go in there, have some flashbacks, like. <laughs> Tell us about this little area. Hey, this cafe, right? these houses never used to be here. This was the stomping grounds for the, anyone who wanted the fucking bit of Charlie and, and, a, and a weed. It was it. it wasn't this is any. where I got my first tea from, the Echoes, the Pink Echoes. That's right, and I'm not going to mention, but I know, yeah. This is where we all hung out, and uh, I sold the weed in there, to be honest with you, and a bit of Charlie. Uh, Got a little story about this place, mate. I'll tell you that in a minute. But uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it was a, it was a rough, rough, rough fucking gaff, rough as toast. No eating. It was freezing. The one arm banded had the glove on. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just been in there in the Johnny Todd. It's changed a lot, hasn't it? It's changed a lot. Yes, and see, the other kids are whole very. And this now, by the way, but let's go to the, the other place. Yeah, we're going to go back to our stomping ground where we're from. Ah, <laughs> oh, Billy, here's a mad story for you, bro. Right? Hey, mad you brought me here, lads. I'm getting flashbacks. My mother used to live here on the seventh floor, and some dickhead. Uh, so I had to burgle it, burgle the flat early hours in the morning, blowing a gale, diazzied up. And he was trying to throw the suitcase up with the, my Mars video in. I fell. Because he kept hold of the video, he landed in the grass and he, he was like, because he's that diazzies and all that, he was like a fucking bouncing baby. So he was just all floppy. But he still looked like a figure eight when he landed. But if he if he wouldn't let go of the video, he would have landed in the car park and splattered. And he'd have been shoveling them up the floor, you know what I mean? And I'm sorry he never landed on the car park, to be honest with you. But he got his come up and Karma's got no friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you messing? And he fell and survived that. Wow. He's in our neck of the woods, right? Me and our Billy used to knock a bounce a lot. Used to go over there playing football, but uh, it's with St. Kevin's, but it's gone now. But uh, yeah, everything's changed. And the kid who fell out the flats, the fella in the or next door, found him at six in the morning. Looking like one of them fellas who fit in the little box, like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's karma, isn't it? Teddy, tell us what it was like for you growing up in Kirby. I grew up nice in the end uh, with the rough big boys who showed me love. Got a gang? With a gang, yeah, and I felt like a bad fanny at the time. <laughs> right? Well, now I do, because we went robbing everyone and terrorising everyone. And we all wore airway, denim jackets, skinheads, 21 old, <laughs> a loaf in one pocket and a fucking steady bottle in the other. Right? Um, we robbed sweet fans with, with, shock, with, with uh, pelicans, me and my brother. With my nan's sights on our heads. And he said, I said, I can smell my nan. He said, I can taste her. <laughs> funny. Hello, nan. It's funny. Oh, my nan. What are you doing in this chair, lad? Lads, I thought it was on Mastermind. <laughs> Listen, it's the best chair I've ever sat in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. It's a fucking scrap. Yeah, dear, come on, let's go. No, oh, this is your shit all. Oh, it was my shit all. If you know what I mean. Quarry Green, what was it like here, Terry? Oh, rough as toast, eh? This is where we used to rob cars and that. And, and do, uh, 
Two shows and that. All right, boys. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> You're on the telly there, lads. <laughs> yeah, take it easy. Uh, yeah, the garage hasn't changed. It's still the same. There's the flats where that he fell. But this bruiser, a lot of shit went on in here as well, but all these cars and that. We used to rob that were down here and come here and do Andy's and that. Used to be a big firm of us here and over there. So we go round while the plows were chasing us, just sitting the piss there. Unless we got next, but most of the time we never. Yeah, yeah, this is strange coming back here with our kid. This is where they used to use with one of the lads in his flat there. He's dead now, but uh, this is when Hedham was Hedham and he went over on it. But this round the corner, Scotia Rose and Kellaway, this is where everyone met for swag. But they'd be a big firm. They'd wait till there was a big firm there and then save them all. They were all off the case to, to wait and do that anyway. But that was when Hedham was Hedham. It how many how many people do you think are still alive from when you were here back in the day using? Me. And about a miss. Do you are like what you call a dinosaur? Hey, I'm a dinosaur. What did the doctor call you? A fucking dinosaur. <laughs> Shit the skin of a rhinoceros and the arse of a fifteen year old. Not the arse, the arse. <laughs> 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 but listen, it's it's my stomping ground right? and I'm bringing back good memories, but bad ones as well. Because I've done some bad shit with my blood around here. Robbed a few people, robbed, you know. But yeah, Edwin was Edwin then, and turned me into a fucking animal. And getting locked up in cages and me blood dead. And... But this is where we used to come and meet the kid. I've been here millions of times, back towards Kirby in the Black Mariah. I've got here. 170 offences and 70 convictions, but I'm a nice lad. <laughs> this is uh, Roughwood. Even the name, Teddy Roughwood, <laughs> I mean, it does sound like... Probably. Yeah, because it sounds like that, they called it Scruffwood. Why is that? Because they're always little scruffy bastards, weren't they? <laughs> but you but were, they, were you gamers, were, yeah. they were gamers, you, fuck. You were, were from, game you, you were from here? Yeah, <laughs> well, it was first up, best dressed, you know what I mean? And if you didn't get up, you were fucking stuck in the house on your neck. <laughs> you know what I mean? So while you while your brothers in the rain for the Robin Sense and, and, and garages. Oh, with all the rough up big boys. The, the rough up big boys is Listen, we used to go to Newton Willows last like, night. Hey, and I thought I was a kid, right like, about eight years of age. And Fid, God rest the soul, he ends up a millionaire, this kid, right? But he used to rob garages, all the garages we've gone past. He was always in jail. But he was a good kid. He was one of the rough big boys. And he took me out to Newley Willows. I was a kid. He said, go and rob a racer. So I said, it's okay. You know. So we had to stay from, from the Lanks up past up to Newley Willows. As soon as we landed, there was a church with all people going in and a fucking racer at the side of the wall. So we was going to other, we there, lad. Nice. And then come past, throw past me and say, it's your own. I'll give you the job when we get back. So I'm a kid thinking I'm not being bumped. Right. This is a heavy firm, like, I'm, I can't say nothing if they bump me. He said, I'll get 50 quid for it, there'll be 25 quid in it for you. I never done nothing, I, I just went with him. Like, I got home, there's all a big firm of Ruffwood people who's out, outside the Ruffwood shops. And uh, Macha, some kid ran over and went, Judah, yeah, lads, and give me, give me a, 20, a pony, 25, nigga. I went, that's off fit. And then, they showed me love, and that's when I... I, I that was gang life? That was gang life then, and then we were robbing the shops, going through the roofs, and they were dropping me in because I was little and passing all the bifters out when the busies come to fucking run. But this old fit had always come back and go, you they get on the box like, and drag me out and say, there it is. And he, he always got neck for stupid robberies and ended up a millionaire. That's when all that happened, something to do with construction, and then died. And he used to, I used to, when it was being, I just used to use in there, but he used to let, he didn't go on, he wasn't on nothing, he was just a thief. I seen him and he gave me 50 quid in some club. He always looked after me fit, mm. feel though. And he, they all did really, you know what I mean? I, they, they took me under the wing, I, I, you know, I didn't know what a father was, I didn't know what 
life is about. I just couldn't follow them. So you had that criminal mindset from an early age. Yeah, but that was yeah, but I was born with it anyway because of my man. I was tipping all kinds of fucking fellas. Right? Me and my brother. Right? Yeah, we had a mad life. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the streets. We, we come out the mud. Yeah, to be honest, we come out the mud. It's a long way to the top when you come from the bottom. This is a. Uh, this is where they lost. This is dark memories. This is where they lost me eye, and this is exactly now where the ambulance pulled up. Funny enough, and I had no eye, and uh, I was walking around a bit like that. Is it? Fucking hell, what's that? What have you just done to your eye? Right, that's what happens. Right, and I know I sound like a, cunt, a villain and that, but I'm not. I was. I just followed suit, and that's what everyone was doing in them days. But I changed my ways a long time ago. And uh, I don't want to come across as a fucking bad fucking, you know what I mean, bad fucking tug. But because I'm not nice, and you're only seeing that for a second. Okay, so this place brings back memories, not only for, for me, but, you know, obviously for yourself. How has it changed, Kirby, from when you lived here? Well, everyone's dead, who I knew. It's a, a sinking ship. It was flying in the 80s. Um, everyone was making money. Everyone was happy. Everyone, you know, everyone was sound each other. But now you've got the little gangbangers going around thinking the gang's desperate to be drug dealers and gangsters. Going around who've been left at Arsenal by some by some people who've been arrested and they're going around now just blowing doors off on shit on us and, and not even getting off, just walking away. Shooting your windows out and just getting off, just walking. That's just a life though now, and it's a different breed of yeah. uh, criminal. Yeah, but it, it's Kirby's one of them. They don't mind you getting on as long as you're not getting on as well as them. And then there's murder. Yeah. And with that, thanks for uh, coming on and thanks for everyone watching. And thanks, and uh, I'll appreciate the comments. Shut your eye out, lad. Is it still a shame? <laughs> Why is that? Is it? <laughs>